Hello, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm joining you from my woodland property here in Jackson County and I'd like to introduce you to serviceberry. This is downy serviceberry and it's by far the most common serviceberry in Ohio. It occurs in almost every county of the state with a few exceptions along the western boundary of the state where the soils are underlined by limestone bedrock and they're less acidic than most of the rest of the state. It's probably much more common down here in the southeastern part of the state. Serviceberry is a relatively small tree. It might get up to about 40 feet in height. It doesn't have a big spreading crown. It kind of finds little canopy gaps or it might occur on the edges where you're going to find it flowering. Uh, this one's almost six inches or so in diameter and unfortunately the stem that fell over last year was probably about eight inches in diameter. So this was a relatively large specimen. So where does serviceberry get its name? The folklore says that in the New England states um, is where it got its name and it got its name because in the winter months when people passed away they couldn't bury them because the ground was frozen. So they had to wait till the spring, the early part of the spring, when the ground began to thaw. And about the only plant that was in flower commonly at that time was serviceberry. Another common name is Juneberry because it produces this little fruit. It's very similar to an apple, it's a poem, and it gets to be about a half inch in diameter and it matures in the month of June. So another name is Juneberry. So how do we identify this plant? Well, first of all, it flowers, as I mentioned, very early in the spring. In fact, it flowers before most trees begin to even break bud or leaves start to occur. So even on serviceberry, the buds are breaking. There are no leaves yet, but you're getting these clusters of flowers that are beginning to occur. And those clusters of flowers will mature and you'll get petals that are about a half inch in length. They're very thin petals. They're not nearly as full as say the calorie pears, the invasive calorie pears that we're seeing in bloom now as well. So they're not gonna be nearly that full they're gonna be little scattered flowers throughout the canopy of the tree. Very delicate, very beautiful looking plant. Um, they're harder to find now because there's so much of the invasive calorie pear out there. But if you're very observant, you look on the hillsides and you see these little specks of white up in the canopy, it's likely to be serviceberry. So what are some other characteristics to identify serviceberry? Well, first of all, the leaves are alternate, so they're gonna alternate sides of the twig. They get to be about three inches or so in length. They're elliptical. Um, they'll have a very finely serrated edge. Some of the keys actually say they're doubly serrate, but again, they're very finely serrate. Downy serviceberry leaves as they're younger and before they fully mature, maybe a little bit fuzzy or hairy on the underside. They're not a real glossy leaf. And then finally, right at the base of the leaf, you might have a little bit of a lobe so kind of like your earlobe, almost a heart-shaped lobe at the base of the leaf. But they're going to be more elongate, about three inches long, and maybe inch, inch and a half in width. Another great ID characteristic for service barrier are the buds. Of our fairly common trees in Ohio, American Beech has that long cigar-shaped bud. But second in length to that is often service berry. Service berry buds will get to be about a half inch or so in length. They don't have near as many bud scales and those bud scales may be a little bit fringed or a little bit hairy. They're gonna have a reddish brown twig. Oftentimes you're gonna see little dots or lenticels on the twig, which is another good idea characteristic for service berry. As I mentioned, the fruits do ripen in June. They're a little apple looking like fruit. And when they're starting to mature, they're gonna be red, but they'll eventually fully mature and be almost a purplish or blackish color. Uh, Normally we don't see that because once they start to ripen, they are very highly preferred by songbirds and robins or waxwings will come in and wipe them out within days of when they start to ripen. The bark on serviceberry is usually a smooth gray bark, but if you look closely, you're gonna see some vertical streaks or striations in the bark. As you get a very large tree like this, it might start to break off a little bit and flake a little bit. But as you look into the canopy, it's gonna be a smooth gray bark that has these vertical streaks. Again, this is downy serviceberry, Amelanchor arborea. It's not a super common tree, but if you look out there this time of year, you may very well see some of them peeking through in the canopy. Thank you, 
and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.